Today I'm going to show you how to make this dynamic pattern inspired from Lars. Select the type tool, type in something. Let's add some distance in between the letters. I'm going to go with like 200. Right click on the text, create outline. And I'm going to go and change up the fill color to white. And also add a stroke color. I'm going to add black. Now let's go to the stroke settings, increase the stroke thickness. And I'm going to go align stroke outside. I'm going to go with four. Now let's go to object, expand appearance right click on group right click on group again and select everything press and hold alt and i'm gonna drag it like this and i'm gonna position it somewhere here now let's go to the pathfinder click on unite a right click on this text arrange send to back and also right click on this black text and click on on group and as you can see we got these white letters inside so we're gonna need to recolor these all you need to do is just go here to the swatches and choose some colors and now I'm going to group every letter separately. For example, I'm going to select the letter P, right click, group, and do the same with the rest. From here, I'm going to arrange the letters randomly, and I also can rotate it. And for example, if you want to position some letters downwards or upwards, you can right click, go to arrange, and just select one of these. Bring to front or send to back. For example, I'm going to go to send to back. It's going to position it to back. So now we have a nice composition. I'm going to select all the letters. Let's go to the effects stylize and select drop shadow and here we're going to decrease the blur to zero and i also going to decrease the x and y offset quite a bit i might go with three by three you also can decrease the opacity so the shadow is going to be more softer multiply click ok and now but least all we need to do is select all the letters let's go to the brushes if you don't have the brushes you can go to windows and select the brushes and just drag and drop the text right here select the scatter brush click ok and here we're going to change up the spacing to a random and also the rotation to random and i'm going to decrease the random at the space somewhere around 60 and here somewhere around 50 and also decrease the random rotation this is going to be somewhere around minus 100 and minus 120. click ok now you can delete this and let's go and select the brush Make sure that you don't have anything in the fill. Click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke and select the brush and then just draw something. And there you go. And you can manipulate this however you like. You can go back to the brush, just double click on the brush and recustomize it however you like. Apply to strokes and it's going to change up the settings. And this is how you make some really cool brushes out of letters. Thanks for watching.